Welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. So we are making breakfast for dinner. This recipe that I'm making is called Butter Swim Biscuits. And it's actually a new recipe to me. I've never made anything like this. I will leave the actual recipe that I used linked down below. But I'm just going to tell you right now, these are amazing and you have to go make them. So also did want to um, mention that this is not healthy by any means. I mean, it's called butter swim biscuits so it's definitely not something that we are going to have all the time but i will be remaking this so i'm just putting the biscuits together i've got my oven preheating to 450 yes 450 <laughs> when i read that i was kind of like oh that's kind of high temperature but that's what i needed and so that's what i did so i'm just putting together the biscuits This recipe calls for buttermilk, but that's just not something that I keep on hand all the time. And I didn't want to go out and buy it like separately. So I looked up ways to make buttermilk at home. And so you can use um, lemon juice or vinegar. So I use lemon juice and it turned out just fine. So just that little tip there for you. With this, I'm also making hash browns, so I'm just coating my pan in as many hash browns as I think that we will need. I never make enough hash browns, and every time I make it, I think that I'm making enough, and then everyone is always asking for more, and there's none left. So I guess as my family gets older, I need to start making more food because, yeah, my kids are eating a lot more than what they used to. So we're going to go ahead and finish up our biscuits. So I'm just going to put the batter in the bottom of an 8x8 pan. And this is a stick of butter that is melted in the bottom. It looks weird, but I promise it's all going to turn out fine. Um, you just kind of want to spread it around the best that you can. And then we're going to top it with two more tablespoons of butter to help with the browning on top. Like I said, this is a lot of butter, but it is delicious. We're also going to have some bacon. So I've got a package of bacon here. I'm just going to put it on this sheet pan. This is my favorite way to make bacon. And I usually do it at 400 for about 18 to 20 minutes, just kind of depending on how much fat is on the bacon. And then I'm tending back to my hash browns. And I overcooked them just a little bit, but everyone still loved them. I'm going to throw the lid back on and set it to the side to keep it warm. And then we're going to work on our gravy. We prefer white gravy just like from the package. I've made homemade gravy before and not everyone likes it. So I just get the packet and that's what works for us. Here is what those biscuits come out straight out of the oven. So you are going to want to let them sit for a little bit to soak up that butter. But I just thought that this looked so cool. So I wanted to share it with you. And then I'm also going to share with you what everything else looks like. Here's our bacon and the biscuits after they sat for a little bit. And then our gravy and our hash browns. And here is what my husband's plate looked like. He prefers ketchup on his hash browns, but I like gravy on mine. Next, we are making nachos. So I've got some hamburger here. I'm going to season with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and just let that cook until it is all the way cooked through. After it's done, I drained most of the grease. I've got a packet of taco seasoning here. And then sometimes I like to add ranch powder just for some extra flavor. So 
that is what I did this time. I'm just going to add a little bit on top, like maybe a tablespoon, not very much at all. And then I'm going to stir that around and then add some water so it can create a sauce. And I'm just going to let that simmer on the stove for about 10 minutes until it is ready to go. I'm also making some Rico's nacho cheese sauce on the side. You just heat it up in the microwave. It's no big deal. And this dinner was super simple, nothing crazy. It was quick, easy, and my kids loved it. They were asking for seconds as well. So here is what my plate looked like. We just have some chips, some meat, some nacho cheese sauce, and some salsa. So this night was another night that plants didn't quite go as planned. So I did not end up cooking dinner on Sunday because I was sick, which I'll talk about. I should have already talked about in a vlog, but um, so I did not end up making hash brown casserole like I had on my meal plan. So instead, we're going to make some sausage alfredo. So I've just got this Polish sausage here I'm going to cut up. I'm gonna cut it into pretty thin strips or pieces, whatever, and I'm gonna cook it in the air fryer because that is the simplest and the quickest way to do it. So I've just got the whole rope here in the air fryer. I think I cooked it at 400 for about 10, 15 minutes maybe. And then I already boiled my pasta. I've got a jar of Alfredo sauce. Like I said, this dinner just needed to be super simple. I've had kind of a rough week, which I would have already talked about, but yeah, I was just trying to make things simple and I needed to get dinner on the table. You guys know that I actually prefer homemade Alfredo sauce, but sometimes you just can't do it. So I'm doctoring it up a little bit with some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and then we're just going to stir it all together. Once the sausage is done in the air fryer, I will add it in here. And my kids really like this. Um, the sausage I wanted to mention is from, it's the Great Value brand sausage, and it wasn't great but it's definitely something that i would consider buying again if i needed that option or if i needed to save you know a dollar or two it's real it's good i mean it's not it wasn't absolutely disgusting so if you come across it and you need to save a couple bucks i would recommend trying the great value um smoked sausage or pull a sausage whatever you call it i know there's a million different ways to say what it is but yeah we served it with some broccoli and I topped it with some Parmesan cheese. So that is it for this week's What's for Dinner. Hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you in my next one.